Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's Sunday in the kitchen as you guys can see. I was trying to see if I could make some breakfast. However, I got a notification that something was delivered downstairs for me. I already had a carrier for baby, but she's so tiny. I keep saying baby for Mia, but she's so tiny. And that carrier is quite a contraption. She's laying down sleeping, so I'm checking on her. So I bought this other one last night on Amazon. You know, I really should be seeing about ordering food. Something like groceries. So I ordered this other one that looks very much more she could wear this now but also very much more sturdy because there's a piece that like goes around your waist and everything which i feel like is very important for you know back support see this one is is set up a lot better i could comfortably put her in this and feel good about carrying her around in this right the other one is a little bit more difficult so you see it's on my back and then we have this other piece. Where's this piece or have this other piece? That you put around your waist. Just that around my waist to give me a little bit more support, especially for when baby gets a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can put y'all down and really show you what it looks like now. So this is what it looks like. This piece around your waist I think is so important. Guys, if you're seeing my big underwear, and I can adjust these. You see? Beautiful. And her little legs will go through here. I loved this part of it that you could like pin it back like that because right now her legs are skinny. But this is absolutely great. Arms go through here. Legs go through here. Pretty straightforward. The other one, like I said, is a whole contraption. And look, even this part, this part you can even fold it down a little bit, which I think I would do because, like I said, the girl is tiny. So when I saw this one last night, I'm like, this one would actually be perfect. And I could put her in there right now and feel confident about you know taking her somewhere outside whatever you know so love this one absolutely love this one and i love that i feel so supported in this one it says it's from eight pounds to 15. she's not eight pounds but i'm going to be holding her up the whole time anyway so she'll be fine but yeah i love this one the other one i don't know if i can return that probably past the return window but I'm going to show you guys so to take it off we open here damn these are kind of hard to open I don't take it off okay take your hand out obviously I wouldn't be able to take it off like that with baby in it but also, I think maybe I wouldn't have to put the back piece together. But I love this one. The other one is very similar. I'm definitely going to keep this so I can take all the papers and stuff off. I really need to make some breakfast because I'm starving. So we'll take this off. And I'm going to show you guys the other one, but I'm going to keep the other one because when she gets bigger, you know, the two could come in handy. So I could use one, I could use one. There is the other one. Now, the other one feels a little bit flimsier, a little bit like I paid less for it, which I did. 
it doesn't have that piece that goes around your waist to support you it has this but it also has so many different contraction pieces right there and I can't fold this piece down now that she's so small so you know when she gets bigger this will come in handy but for right now we're gonna put it in the drawer like I said I'm in the kitchen trying to make some breakfast because she is sleeping we had a good little night last night I had bottles ready to go every time she woke up I was able to feed her and um, she slept really good I slept really good we woke up this morning feeling good we woke up at 11 a.m. or sometime after 10 but um we slept good anyways so yeah we're in the kitchen just trying to get some breakfast together today is also trash day and if you've been around for a while you know that i'm aiming all about trash day i need to get everything out of here because sundays are the one day where they pick up everything i think i'm also going to try and put some of those um couch pieces outside too um so yeah my job also just sent me some letter telling me that i'm not eligible for family leave because in two days it will make a year since I've worked at my job but when I submitted it by the time they saw it to approve it it wasn't a year yet so I think it should be as simple as just resubmitting the form however I messaged my um, union representative and my manager to see what they are saying however I'm still on my eight weeks maternity leave so that isn't affected which we need that i think i'm also going to take four additional weeks just to get baby to lay on a, a good footing you know um i think her dad is a little timid right now and i don't know that he'd be able to take care of her if i were to go back to work in a month you know because she's she is tiny and while i'm hoping that she blows up in the next four weeks or so she's small so we have to work with whatever she's giving right now which is a little bit on the tangier side you know so with that in mind i want to take an additional four weeks i want to go back to work when it's three when she's three months old i think that's a good time so that is the plan so i'm gonna have to submit a form for that too so when my union rep or my manager responds to me i'm gonna ask what that form is and when do i need to submit it by so i can get that sorted out So guys, I'm in this spot a lot because obviously we're lounging out here in the daytime. I want to show you guys all the baby stuff on the floor right now. This is baby central. We were just doing a little bit of tummy time. She hated it. She fell asleep. We are supposed to be doing tummy time. The girl is sleeping. I swear to God, she hates tummy time. But when she's on my stomach, she's doing everything that she's supposed to do during tummy time. She's out like a light. <laughs> <laughs> only to wake up crying for boob her little <laughs> seat and everything else that we have going on around here but also um i took some time out to get my hair together and i absolutely love this little wig i curled it up and everything and it looks great but i'm really having fun with putting myself together post baby like i used to before her because you know that just reminds me of um that there's Janine in there because I remember when I was pregnant the one thing I felt was like I was lost inside of me inside of the pregnancy I couldn't find myself and so right now I'm having fun rediscovering myself what's the matter honey she's awake just looking around I'm gonna put her in that chair so yeah I got up and did my hair and I love it it looks cute I feel cute you know what I mean just the whole works but yeah you guys, I swear to God, my manager infuriates me because the form that I was telling you guys about earlier, I had to message her and ask her about it. And every time I ask her about something, it feels like she didn't answer the question that I asked her. And obviously, I'm asking her because I don't know. And so, I mean, she gave me resources to kind of figure out this situation, but it's not just this situation, like other situations prior. And it just feels like, oh my goodness, I don't know who to reach out to because when I reach out to her, there is either no information or I, I feel as lost as when I had just reached out and I and I it stresses me out honestly anyways um I'm it's 7 22 p.m right around 
it, everything with her kind of works out like clockwork in terms of like when she wakes up when she goes to sleep throughout the day by the time we get to 7 p.m like her nighttime routine has started and i'm very grateful for that because that means that we have somewhat of a schedule going right now i have her all the way up here because i'm trying to burp her before i put her down to change her diaper but she fell asleep while eating which is something that she normally does so um that's not alarming but i'm trying to get her to burp because something that she normally does too is not burp properly or takes forever to burp and then when i put her down to like change her diaper um she spits up so i'm getting used to holding her up a little bit and allowing her to burp before i put her down to change her diaper so um we can avoid the spit ups and so she could have all her food inside right are you okay honey so i'm just holding her up and waiting a little bit and then we're gonna change her diaper but also every time i feed her she poops and so i like waiting i like waiting a few minutes too to give her the opportunity to also poop because what has been happening is sh i don't wait oh that's so good she's smart i don't wait she poops and then i have to <laughs> change the diaper again so we're being a little bit graceful with that but also she's figuring me out we're figuring each other out you know we're, we're learning as we go along over here it's like we're experienced i don't really know but um we're figuring it out what i cooked and i ate dinner so i feel really good just leaving the rest of the evening to tend to her because i try to take care of myself and do things for myself when she is sleeping so that when she is awake she has all of my attention and i don't have to be running around like a chicken without head so that so far has been really good i already showered and everything so like i said it's just to focus on her and her nighttime routine right now it's after seven and she ate and she's gonna sleep until like sometime after nine or sometime after ten if i'm lucky and then we're really gonna get into the nighttime routine where i give her a heavy bottle she sleeps and you know we figure it out but i think that's where i'm gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one